Hello and Hi. welcome to a new weekly vlog. And as you can see in the background, there are two cats and then we've got another cat down there. So a trio of cat in the bedroom. Aww. We are about to go out uh, to see a friend, hey. catch up. We haven't seen this friend for a long, long time. time. So we want to catch up and have a really yeah. good chin wag. Then we were supposed to have pie for dinner. But we don't know what's happening for we dinner. Because what time is it now? It's like half five. Yeah. So we need to get, we need to get going. And then we don't know Moving. what we're having for, for dinner. It so. won't be chips. Yeah. <laughs> oh, this is a monumental day. It is the first time this year. Well, the first time this um, season that I've got my Ugg boots out. It's that time. And I've got the big coat. You have got your big my coat. Big coat. You have. Because it's quite chilly. But yes, it's Ugg boot time. I'm an Ugg boot girly again. Woo! <laughs> Hello, it, and welcome to Tuesday, yeah. if I'm not mistaken. We have a baby, and then we have Rory. So Matt's just helped me set up a work thing. Now, Which was a very brave moment. Asking for help, me asking for help, is not something mm. I like to do. It's not something I enjoy doing. But I needed help, yeah. because it's technology, and um, yeah, I'm... If it was up to me, I'd still be doing things by carrier pigeon. Let's put it that way. So, and I still like a note, like a proper notebook and a physical reading book and all that kind of thing. Anyway, we live in a digital age, so I have to make concessions. In fact, all of my work is digital stuff. Anyway, yeah. I still don't really like it. So yesterday we went to see our friend, which was lovely to catch up. Yeah. And then we came home late. We were like 11 o'clock. And it was, like, it was half yeah, half eleven. So Matt didn't have much sleep, mm -hmm. and um, this thing as well being between yeah. my legs all night. So we were going to have the pie. We didn't have the pie we because it was too late. So yeah, we had McDonald's. I, I know yeah. naughty. <laughs> we are going to have the pie today, but we've got to go food shopping. We it was bin day today, and we forgot to put the bin, the red waste bin out, the household waste bin. Which was like a disaster because we've already got almost three quarters of a bin full. So we're going to have to work that out because it won't come for another two weeks. No. Ah. I'd be very good with our recycling. Yeah. I mean, we've never forgot it before. It's just because we came back late and then Rory was sick three times. Once on the curtains. Yes. It was just wow. bit like a biscuity hairball sick. But it was still gross. And um, there was three of them, three piles of six. So I had to clean that up. And then I just totally forgot about the bin. Then by the time I got up, the bin truck had been and gone. So that I'd was... been in a meeting for two hours as well, so I didn't even hear it. No. So that was just gone. So we are now at what? We're like half twelve. Yeah, I've and had a shower. Yeah, I've had a shower. Matt needs to have a shower. And then I need to get some worky things done, including um, going out and delivering some letters. So that's kind of our day mapped and planned out. So I just thought I'd show you where Molly sits these days. So she just like to change her places. But she kind of sits here so that she can peep over the cushion. So she is, of course, on the pillowcases. Which she kind of shouldn't be. But anyway, this is just the spare bed and I'm going to change and wash all the sheets before the next time someone comes to stay. So it's perfectly fine. Molly's adopted it as her room. So she likes to kind of sit there and just peek over the top like that. So that there we go. Aren't you a gorgeous girl? Yes, you are. You're my gorgeous girl. There we go. Some of our letters coming off. Hot off the press. So what I'm doing now is collating our letter. It's kind of like our prospect letter. Um, so we have found some properties that have been sat in our local area on the market with current agents for over three months now. Um, and we think that they might be feeling a little bit annoyed with the system and which is where we come in so we're gonna send them our letter hopefully they'll take a look and they'll get in touch and hopefully we'll be able to market their properties just thought i'd pop on to say that we got an instagram message from kate kate you know who you are and she showed us some pictures of her whoppers <gasps> she followed matt's recipe to make the yorkshire puddings and she even bought the Scoville muffin tray and they came out an absolute treat. So I'll pop the picture on the screen so that you can see. Um, so yeah, if you haven't seen how to make the perfect Yorkshire puddings, go and watch that separate video. It's, it's a few videos back now, but I'll also leave it linked in the comment section because we're still going to do links in the pinned comment. 
So I just thought I would point that out. So congratulations to Kate. There we go, just assessing the outfit. So I'm wearing the branded hoodie. As you can see, it's got the avocado property logo on it with the pink on the inside. There's also a pink version as well. And if I kind of tilt to the back, you can see, I'm hoping you can see, it's got our names on the back as well. Um, so there we go. That's sort of what I'm going to be wearing to go out with my letters. Hand delivered, no less. Just going to Morrison's to get the weekly food shop. We've just done our shopping. Yay. And I think we are going to start restart HelloFresh. Yes. Came to 60 Six, something pounds. 63 without our voucher. And then we used like a five pound voucher, so we had some money off. But HelloFresh is a lot cheaper. Yeah. And everything's planned. You've got the meals there already. We haven't got to spend time coming to the supermarket out of our very busy day. Uh, so I think we're going to look into starting that again. Yeah. Right, so we're back home and we are just setting up for a meeting. We're actually meeting with a local developer. And I think it's really good for what we're doing to be in with developers because we are likely to have houses come up that we can recommend that are ripe for development. And then at least we've got contacts that we can put forward to and hopefully sell these houses. Matt's cooking dinner. We've just premiered our vlog and we're having the beautiful... Um, what would you call it? It was like it's a... It's just like a white wine chicken sauce thing. Yeah, we, we had, had some this... lazy and rye pre-sliced mushrooms. Yeah. We had this last week and it was lovely and we've still got some of the pasta left over. So we're doing it again. Uh, so it's very, very nice. Somebody in the comment section suggested uh, a spoon with spikes to do our pasta and we've found that we have actually got one. So we've used it. Is that a lot easier? It was a lot easier, yeah. So we can all continue. So we did actually have a pasta server. Anyway, that's our dinner for today. Looks lovely. We're going to go and eat it and watch Married at First Sight UK. And then it's Bake Off Day. Hi all and welcome to Wednesday afternoon. Um, I've had a wash day today. I've finally managed to get all the bed washed because we've had a few days where it's not been very good. So I've waited until today, midweek, to get it done. And I think I've actually managed some of the white stuff I've tumble dried, but the big, it's like, it, I think it feels more cold than anything because the weather has actually turned quite cool now. But there has been a wind and I, I'm pretty convinced it has dried. It's just kind of cold, if you know what I mean. Um, so that's all done. We've had some more business meetings today. We've got Rory in here, looking all lovely. We've got a few tomatoes still turning uh, red, but I, like I said, I don't, I don't hold out much hope anymore. But yes, so that's kind of wash day done. It needed doing. Um, so I'm gonna get all this in now and get it on the bed so that we've got a nice, clean, fresh bed to get into. Who doesn't love clean sheet day? Who doesn't love it? Um, so yeah, that's what I'm going to do now. And then I think Matt is going to cook chicken tikka masala for dinner tonight because that's what I fancied yesterday. And there we go. That's all back on nice and fresh. And Molly over there, I had to put her in the window because she kept jumping on the bed. And I was like, Molly, no, that's not really helping, is it? Uh, but here she is. She's had a nice little sit down whilst I've got her bed all nicely back together again. Aren't you gorgeous? And here is Matt's chicken tikka masala. Not mine, it's Morrison's. Okay, so we used the jar, but it still smells really, really gorgeous. Um, so, so I just kind of fancied it. I really did. Anyway, there's the rice. And we've got... Uh, a massive naan bread, it's huge. And some bhaji. And some, yeah, some Morrison's onion bhaji. Where are they? They're in the microwave. Okay, we'll show them later. Okay, so there is the curry, looking all lovely. And we have the onion bhaji. Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Friday. I've literally just realised that I didn't film anything of Thursday. And that's because Thursday was very much just a day of work and catch up. I made a list. I think I decided that um, I work really, really well when I have a list of things to get through. So every every night I've been emptying my brain of thoughts about things that I need to do the next day and I've been making a list. I'm just showing you all the tomatoes. Um, so yeah, they're pretty much coming to the end and I need to find some time to do something about all of these. We still have some green tomatoes 
Um, I managed to pick a few yesterday, but nothing's really coming. So I'm making a list um, and that's really helping me structure my day. So today I've got another list that I need to work through. So I'll be doing that. Uh, what else happened yesterday? Um, not really, not a lot exciting happened. Ooh, our Madonna tickets came through. So uh, they don't come in the post anymore. Gone are those days. It's all electronic on your phone. Uh, all the bugliers now are all gone, apart from just a few little white tufts. So the Madonna tickets we need to show upon entry. Uh, we are going uh, next the weekend coming. So that will be really, really good. And we're actually going to spend a few days in London. So we still have a few little roses. But that one's actually quite new. Um, so we're going to spend a few days in London. Matt's parents are going to come and look after the cats. Oh, look, there's some new buds as well. So the roses are still in action, so it seems. But it is feeling a lot more autumnal at the moment. Hello, Molly. Hello, gorgeous. How are you doing today? You doing well? Oh, she used the cat buttons. That's what that's what happened yesterday. Um, so I was cleaning out the cat trays and I heard biscuits and Molly had pressed the button by the food bowls and she was sat there patiently waiting for some wet food. So well done, girl. We knew you'd we knew you'd be the first to get them. So there you go. Molly has used a cat button. She's not used it since, <laughs> but <laughs> but she has used it once. Um, yeah, these are doing so well. If you remember, I planted these or sowed them as seed. They are just packet seeds from the supermarket and they have done so well in the last part of this season because I planted them really, really late. So am I going to put them there next year? No. This was kind of more of like a little quick afterthought of something to fill up the borders. I'm going to put something else there. Over here, it's actually quite shady because of the fence. So what I'm going to do, once I've tidied up that big rose, I'm going to next season buy some shrubs and put them across there, which makes it easier because what they do is kind of come over the lawn and make it really difficult to mow. So I think some shrubs are going to be the easiest option. Also, I'm still debating whether or not to take out those two. I know I've said it for weeks and weeks and months. I'm going to take out those two that didn't do very well. I don't know whether to give them one more chance for next year or just to rip them up and buy some new shrubs at the same time I buy the, the other shrubs. I don't know. Anyway, that's the garden today. And I am now... Oh, you can see me in the mirror. Hello. That's the garden today. I'm going to go now and have some breakfast, have a shower, get ready for the day. Okay, so for those of you that didn't know, we are going to see Madonna. We're going to London on the 15th of October. So, we've had this planned for a few months. Obviously, Madonna had her incident, uh, her illness, and she sort of cancelled the tour and restarted it uh, in, in London. So, what was going to be something like a 20-something show has now turned out to be her second show. So we're, we're not on opening night of the tour, but we are the night after. But that's not why, that's not what I'm, I'm talking to you about. Of course, I'll take the camera and show you bits and pieces. Um, and we are staying in London for a few days as well. So what we want to do in London is just relax. I have never been to the, the big London shops with Matt. We've sort of gone through them on the way to do busy things the last time we were in London properly for a for a break, which was during the pandemic, um, we were, for example, we had coffee in Harrods and then we had to go off really quickly to go to Kensington Palace. So this time it's going to be very relaxed. We're going to try and do it as cheaply as possible. So I'd like to go to some of the free museums. Really want to go to the National Portrait Gallery. Um, the Palace I don't think is open this time of the year. Um, and I want to just go and have a big mooch around the shops. But that's not why I'm telling you. Uh, I keep digressing. So there's a train strike. Of course there would be a, a train strike on, on, on concert day. So we're now going to have to drive down to a station that hasn't got a, um, a train strike. And then into London and then on to another connecting train to reach our destination because we're staying with a friend. So it's all very complicated, but we're going to have a really good time. 
and it'll be nice to have a relax and i know city breaks are not necessarily relax i'm fighting with the plant um i know city breaks are not necessarily relaxing quiet maureen uh, yes maureen reveal she's actually the palm plant um maureen so I know they're not known for being relaxing, but we are gonna take it at a very relaxed pace, which I'm quite looking forward to. So for tonight's dinner, we are having these chunky chips and we are having uh, the chip shop uh, fish that we bought today. We didn't do a haul today because we came back and we were just very, we had a lot <laughs> because we had a, a delivery um, of cat food from Pets at Home, of which we ordered two of these. Uh, 32 pouches from the seriously good food thing at Pets at Home and only one came so we eventually worked out that what they'd done is they didn't have enough of them so they just put one in the box and didn't tell us. Anyway, we've got a refund now so that's fine. Uh, then we came back and we had a few worky things to do uh, but we've also felt very tired and exhausted after the week that it's been because it has been quite a difficult week. Uh, so, I think we're going to take it easy tomorrow. Fish. There is a fish, but fish. we do, we do have. Fish. What are you saying? Are you asking whether we want one or two? Fish. Two. Go on, use the whole pack. It's fine. <laughs> uh, but we do have a slight issue because we forgot to put the bin out this week. <laughs> so we've got to wait another two weeks for our red top general household waste bin. Um, so we're going to have to take the bag of cat litter that I've just changed the trays today. We're going to have to take that to the skip tomorrow to the recycling centre just to sort of get rid of it because we've got almost another week and a half left with no bin collection. Anyway, it was a whole thing. So we're working through that. Uh, here's Bo. So he's happy now he's got some clean trays. And outside, as you can see, it's early evening. So, ooh, Bo just ran out. Yes, uh, so there you go. That's the garden, how it's looking right now. Very peaceful. If I just step out and just leave it lingering for a few moments, you'll kind of hear the peace. Well, there was peace until you meowed, wasn't there? Anyway, let's go and cook. You can hear you now. Let's go cook some food. And here is our dinner before the parsley sauce goes on. Doesn't that look lovely? And Matt's got exactly the same over there. And here is our... Parsley sauce, yummy, yummy, yummy. So we're gonna put that on now. There it is, yummy, yummy. Fish, chips, parsley sauce and veg. Hi everyone, it is Saturday and we are bright eyed and bushy tailed at 1 p.m. Anyway, we have got some letters to deliver uh, to some properties that have been stuck on the market for quite a while. So we think they might be in need of a bit of a change uh, and we think we can we can give them what they need. Uh, but also we need to go to the tip because as I mentioned, we forgot to put our bin out. So we're gonna take two bags of double bagged cat litter to the tip uh, and get rid of that. Just so the weight is kept down from the bin because obviously it'll have four weeks worth of general waste in it, which is not good. Uh, I'm still reeling from the fact that we forgot, it's disgusting. And yeah, we need to just keep that weight down. So we're off to the tip, deliver letters, and then back home. There we go, that's the two bags of cat litter and a cardboard box full of polystyrene deposited at the skip. There's Matt coming now. Right, let's move on to delivering our letters. Hi everybody, it's the evening time. Look how dark it is outside. Oh, the cats don't, oh. the bow doesn't like the early get-ins. Anyway, we're having those chicken steaks we bought with some chips and some beans and hoops. So the beans and hoops are coming. Uh, and Matt's teased me that there's been cross-contamination between, between the bean juice and the hoop juice. I'm not wasting a spoon on the same sauce. We've got a dishwasher. <laughs> I thought I had to empty it. <laughs> so anyway, we're having our hoops and beans and then watching TV for the evening. It's been an afternoon. I've had a nap. I felt so tired. Uh, we've also planned out next week for the business, like our business strategy for next week. Um, and then uh, tomorrow, hopefully, we'll have a relaxing Sunday. I hope the weather's nice because I want to do some laundry and I'd like to mow the do you lawn want as well. In the same place, don't you? Uh, yes, please. Yes, I don't like them. I don't like the beans on top of things. They have to be at the side. Anyway, we're going to go and have this. 
It's here. It's literally <sighs> just arrived. Oh, we're getting flashbacks. What? What to? To doing this. Before. Oh, the unboxings. Yeah. So we've not had HelloFresh for a while. About a year. About a year. But it was really good when we had it last time. Yeah. Um, and we're doing it again purely because, as I've said before, cost. Yeah. Convenience that it's always there because now we're a bit more pushed for time and portion control. Yes. Although we normally pimp them a little bit. But let's get into it um, and see what we've got because I forgot what Matt's ordered. Me too. <laughs> there we go. So let's have a look. It's exciting. So if you didn't know, HelloFresh, basically everything that you need for your meals or in bags, all the ingredients, and you don't really have to buy anything. There's a magazine, though. Oh, there's a magazine. We'll have a look at that later. So, do you want to go through what we've actually ordered? So, we have got honey mustard sausages and red onion gravy Ooh, with a sweet nice. potato mash and tender stem broccoli. Yum. Uh, a creepy cottage pie with cheesy potato oh. top and peas. <gasps> Seasonal! Love that. Uh, Beijing-style chicken and pepper stir fry. Okay. Sounds good. Uh, that's backwards. That doesn't help. So, by the way, the recipe card is on the back. So, and yes. with with full instructions and as well. nutritional information. Yeah. So it's all there, step by step. Yeah. Oven baked bacon and pea risotto. Ooh. The, I remember the risotto as being really nice. Yeah, and I don't normally like risotto, yeah. but theirs are quite nice. And roasted chicken in a chive sauce with spinach and potatoes. Yeah, that's the one. Now Matt says I've had this before, mm, and you I liked can't it. remember, but I'm not normally keen on chive. But we'll try it and we'll see. Yeah. So just so you know, it all comes in a big sturdy box and there are lots of packaging um, and lots of ice packs. So there's ice packs in here that keeps everything fresh. Yeah. There's always a little bit there that it doesn't supply you. Yeah, like... But it, it tells you here, it's normally things like water and butter. Yeah, like salt and pepper and stuff yeah. like that. Um, but everything but, else is in here. Like all the meat and everything is in here. So we're going to get this unpacked. Oh, by the way, everything's in, like, numbered bags as well. So, yeah. like, that's a 16. So that would correspond with whatever. Would that correspond um, to And you? obviously you can choose for two people or three people or four people. And you can choose the different that days as well. Stir -fry. So that So that's all your stuff for your stir-fry. Um, and then you just put the bags in the fridge. So it's all there. Yeah, but I like to, um, I like to unbag the bags. Yeah, but you don't have to. It's I've, nicer in the I've fridge. seen people just literally put the bags in the fridge and it's It looks fine. nicer in the fridge when you unpack it, though. It does. Anyway, we will have a discount link and code. How much can you get off with the discount it link? It is currently, you get 60% off your first box and yeah. then you get 25% off the next 12 boxes. Yeah. So it's a good, like, three-month long yeah. offer. Now, to get a discount, we use someone else's discount code. Yes. and. But because we've had them before, top tip, we used a different email. Yes, but so, this is not sponsored, so we no. can say that. So, <laughs> so if you've used our link and discount code in the past, yeah. just use a different email or yeah. make a new one, and then you can get our discount again. Anyway, let's get it unboxed. So Matt's unpacking it, and as you can see, all the veggies that come are really healthy looking. Yeah. So there you go, all fresh. Today is sunny. Yes, it's a good drying day, and it's given out good weather for the next two Two days. So today, in terms of the laundry, I am washing lots of random things like our hoodies, dressing gowns, uh, woolens, coats, jackets, all that kind of stuff. So I've got uh, Matt's hoodie and my hoodie in the washing machine at the moment. I'll pick those out and then I'll move on to a new load. Uh, I also want to get loads of random jobs done today. I want to get the bathroom clean. So Matt's going to go for a shower in a moment. Then, before I have my shower, I will clean the bathroom. I need to mow the lawn um, and get all that nice and tidy. I need to post one letter that I've got. By the way, these are looking so good still. I don't want to take them up, aren't they gorgeous? And then I want to get in the greenhouse and I've decided I'm going to pick those tomatoes and get rid of that one. I'm going to leave these two. Just, I think they may ripen up. I don't know. And then the end ones, the cucumber and the pepper, I shall take that up. And then I shall give this as much as a clean as I possibly can. Oh, and the hanging basket. I think that's done now. So, I mean, there's still a few to go, but they're not looking the best now. And these small ones aren't going to grow anymore. So we'll, and th th there is still some flowers. I don't think they're going to come to anything. So I think they need to go. But other than that, I think these ones might ripen. Um, but yeah, I think we're pretty much done. Right, we're just going to go for a walk to the letterbox to post, the post box. To post a letter. There is Bo. Where did you come from? 
So I've done loads of washing today. This is like the second load. So basically I've just done all the things that, you know, you don't normally do very often, like dressing gowns and oodies and coats and that kind of thing. So I'll give it a spin. Um, everything smells nice and fresh. Yeah, let's go do some posting. Go. Who knew this even existed? It's only when I checked. So collection Monday to Friday, 9 a.m. So this will go to its destination and be collected. Look, still E2R, not for child. And here we have the Matt's laughing at me because I waited for a motorbike to go by. It's very noisy. You can probably it hear it in the distance. Glare, but well, disrupting my view. Anyway, here's the pool on this lovely day. Isn't it gorgeous and tranquil and peaceful? We're standing just by the wall. Um, and we're looking for ducks and things. I think all the ducks are mainly over there on the little mini, but what's known locally as a beach. It's not really a beach, there's no sand, and I certainly wouldn't want to sunbathe on it. But anyway, they're over there having a rest, and there's one in the middle over there. Oh, it really is nice. That's a seagull. Hmm? That's a seagull in the middle. Oh, it is a seagull. Watch your chips. I couldn't leave without getting you any duck footage, could I? Let's zoom in on them. I'm not going to go all the way down the bank because it looks a bit steep. But there we go, aren't they gorgeous? I love them. contemplating life. Just one day at a time, dear. One day at a time. Careful you don't get lost. There we go. Matt is cooking a roast dinner and whilst he's been doing that, I've groomed the cats <laughs> and I have cleaned my Ugg boots ready for the winter. So when you buy a pair of Ugg boots, you get a cleaning kit. Well, I got a cleaning kit, I think with the big pair. I don't think I got them with the brown pair. Um, so these are my Ugg boots. I've had them a few years now and I love them for the winter season. So I've given them a brush with a dry brush and then I've sprayed, I didn't need to remove any dirt to be fair, uh, but I did put the sealing stuff on. So I put the sealing stuff on, sprayed the insides to for a nice fresh. Uh, and they are, I mean, just look how thick that is. It's gorgeous, it really is gorgeous. So I can't, I've already worn both of them this season so far, but I'm gonna let them dry. Uh, overnight and then what you're supposed to do is then get the little brush that's in with it and then give them a brush again and then that should bring them up just like new. Hi Rory. So I didn't manage to get the greenhouse done. I didn't do anything in the greenhouse, uh, unfortunately, because I just felt a bit tired. After all what's been happening this week, I just felt really tired. And so anyway, doesn't Rory look lovely or groomed? He looks beautiful, very majestic. Anyway, uh, we're getting some side face from Rory. So, but I did get all the washing done. I've literally, that washing machine has been on non-stop all day. I'm now doing towels because I still dry those in the tumble dryer um, because it just makes them nice and fluffy. And we do have an eco tumble dryer, a uh, heat pump actually. So I shall be doing laundry all the rest of the evening. All the coats and things have been dried and put away. Um, so yeah, and then we're just going to have a nice relaxing Sunday dinner. Oh, Big Brother starts in the UK. Oh, Big Brother in the UK has not been on for about, what, four or five years now, something of that nature. So it's the return of Big Brother. Rory's having a lick. Bo's over there, and I think Molly's upstairs. Um, so yes, Big Brother's back. So we're very excited to see how it's gonna turn out. Here's our dinner, well, just the veg and the chicken, but Matt thinks he's made extra big whoppers. 
today. He thinks they're extra big. Oh, oh look at the plume. Okay, that's... Uh, <laughs> right, let's have a look and see how big these whoppers are. Oh, I think they're more whopping than normal. They are, actually. Whoa. They are ginormous. Look at those. Crikey. Crikey. And no, I mean... <laughs> Are we going to, I think, are we going to eat all those? <laughs> <laughs> They're huge. Wow. They are enormous. Here's the dinner before any of the gravy goes on. So we've tried to do a bit better portion size today. More veg. There is a lot of veg, but we've only, we've got less carrots and less parsnips. So it is a little bit more normal person portion. And there it is with the Yorkshire pudding whoppers on. Gravy! Hello and welcome to Monday morning. And no, it's not a boozy morning. Just look at the carnage. So, tell you a tale. Last night, I went to bed and I put in all of my eye gunk like I normally do, you know, the one that stops my eye from getting all dry. And I close my eyes and I hear an almighty clatter. So I rush downstairs to find out what it is. And bearing in mind, I can't see. Uh, my eyes are all blurry because of all the gunk in it. <laughs> I, I look and I instantly know what it is. The picture fell off again. So zebra butt unfortunately fell off. And these command strips that aren't command strips failed. So we've got another broken picture. Yeah, not good. But also I look where the, where the drinks trolley is. And I see a slow puddle of red liquid pouring across the floor. So I think, oh no. So by the way, I'm naked. Well, not naked, I'm just in my pants. Nothing more than you'd see at the beach, my loves. And um, so I have to rush and get the mop and bucket. I fill it with some washing up liquid and stuff just to get it up. I have to mop, then Matt gets up because he heard the, the clatter. So we get all the bottles off and then there's, there's a broken... This is the one that broke. Uh, I've still still got to dispose of it, and I hate glass, so that completely smashed. And you can see all the broken bits in there, so I've moved that over there, so, so the cats can't get at it. So all these bottles are now sticky. Um, the floor, I'm going to have to give another mop at some point, but actually, I, I think it's okay. Actually, no, that's not sticky at all. That's fine. The drinks trolley in the bottom, because that's where the bottle was. It was all full of pims, and it was a full bottle of pims. It wasn't even the used a bottle of pins uh, so we were trying to pick up glass and all the rest of it anyway <laughs> anyway anyway we eventually went back to bed so i've just come just got up now and i'm just looking at the carnage so picture i think this is going to have to be rehung with a nail i have no idea why that wall does not hold anything i don't know it's weird because all the other ones have uh, a bit of flaky paint as well because of the picture falling. The, it didn't do any damage down there. That's some leftover flooring that we're going to have the toilet redone in. Uh, so, but there was, I still don't know how a picture falling off caused a bottle that's in the middle of the tray to smash. The only clue was that my vase over here was also turned over on the top so I'm wondering whether or not Rory was in the kitchen eating when it happened and he heard the clatter and he sort of jumped through the hatch to escape into the living room and he knocked the trolley but it's still weird because that bottle was right in the middle of all the other bottles so why didn't any other bottles topple over I don't know it's a mystery it really is a mystery but anyway it's Monday and the day it's it's not a bad day so far. Uh, I think I might be able to get the spare bed washed and dried today. It's supposed to be, supposed to have given out decent weather. Uh, and then obviously I need to edit and upload the vlog that you're watching now, ready for either tonight or tomorrow. I'm not actually sure when I'm going to put it out. One, one or the other. The vlogs, I normally put these weekly vlogs out either a Monday or a Tuesday, one or the other, depending on if I need more footage, or depending on time schedules and all that kind of thing. So, yeah, it's either a Monday or a Tuesday. Um, but yeah, that's what the weather is like today. And there we go. The drinks trolley is all set up, all nice and clean and tidy. I still have no idea how it happened because this is the position it was. That's the position where the picture was. Picture just dropped 
and then somehow a bottle that was in the middle of here just got cleaved almost in half. Very, very strange. <laughs> Oops, hang on. Stand back a bit. Let's look at the island. Yeah. <laughs> Hi everybody, we're going to close out this week's vlog. What a week it's been. I know, my hair's looking very floppy. Well, I've been Matt's, to the gym, I yeah, yeah, haven't washed it yet. And yes. I haven't done anything with mine other than wash it because we've got the mobile hairdresser coming Yay. in literally right about now. Um, so how have the week's gone, do you think, with the business? Busy. Busy. We've been doing lots of kind of what I would describe as like back-end marketing things. So yeah. hopefully next week... Um, eventually we'll be able to bring you some properties here yeah. on the channel. Um, so yeah, don't worry, we aren't becoming a complete estate agent channel. No. We will always do our weekly vlogs. Yeah. Any other content is just additional to this. what we normally put out anyway. Yeah. Um, so anything else? Um... Oh, Madonna! Next oh, yeah. week we are going to Madonna. Ah! Not just to Madonna, we're going to London to see yeah. Madonna and staying with a friend. Yeah, and I've got a work thing. Yeah, and a work thing. That, that's the week after. Is it the week after? Is it not, not next weekend? Oh, yeah. It's, it's next oh, weekend. When are you going to have it as long? Because you'll be in London. We'll just carry it over, it's fine. Uh, anyway, we will put a vlog out somehow. So, thank you for watching this week's vlog. If you've enjoyed it, please give it a big old thumbs up. Don't forget to share it on social media. And of course, do hit the bell so that you know whenever we upload a new video. So, from us... Wow. Thank you all and goodbye. Bye. Stay in school. Don't do drugs. Eat your greens. <laughs>